Hi, today we will discuss the development of cylinder with a square hole. Now I will read out the problem. Draw the development of a cylinder of 50 mm diameter and height 75 mm containing a square hole of 25 mm side. The sides of the hole are equally inclined to the base and the axis of the hole bisect the axis of the cylinder. In this case, the first step is uh, to draw the projections of cylinder when it is resting on its base on HP. That means we are assuming the base is resting on uh, HP and uh, axis is parallel to VP. After drawing the projections of the cylinder, then we will draw the uh, square hole in front view. Then from front view, we have to draw the projector towards the top view. Like that, we will proceed for the development of the problem. Now I will explain this uh, procedure with the help of a diagram. First step. What is the first step? Draw XY line. After drawing XY line with O as a center. What is the center? O. O as a center. With the given radius. After that, what we have to do? Draw projections for drawing front view. Here, I am not dividing the base circle into 12 parts. In this problem, I am solving it in a other way. Next, from the reference line, say, from this this is the axis line no from here to here from the reference line to here this is the axis height this is the axis height axis axis height next take midpoint of the axis draw a line parallel to xy line draw a line parallel to xy line somewhere here somewhere here draw 45 degrees line why we have to draw 45 degrees line because all sides are making an angle 45 degrees to the base now this line is parallel to xy line now parallel to that one and this distance should be how much the distance should be 25 mm that is given in the problem the distance is 25 mm given in the problem then parallel to that with a distance of 25 mm and again join this here in these cases the angle between the side and this line is 45 degrees and the, this side and this line is 45 degrees this side and this line is 45 degrees how to draw for that first of all we are drawing a 45 degrees reference line we are drawing 45 degrees line reference line move the drafter in such a way that this distance should be 25 this distance should be 25 parallel to that with a distance of 25 mm draw another line then join here like this after that divide this one into two parts this side to be divided into two parts say one first division say one two three this is also midpoint four five six 7, 8, this is one base of this square hole, another one, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, 1, because it's a front, you know, that's why we have to use with the primes.
with primes now i'll dot the required lines in the front view after that from various division points on the square from various division points on the square draw projectors towards the top u draw projectors towards the top u now give lettering give lettering in the top u say a b c d e f g h i j k l after that complete the dimensioning part complete the dimensioning part say diameter is how much 50 mm phi 50 and then axis height to be shown axis height is how much 75 and midpoint of the axis is 37.5 mm after that say a dash g dash d dash b dash C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash, K dash, and L dash. After that, here the main important point to be observed here is the circle is not divided into twelve equal parts. based upon the reference points on the square hole based upon the reference point taken on the square hole we have to draw the projectors on to the circle in top u so these projectors are from the square that means these points were taken in reference to the square hole these points say a b c d e f are to be taken in reference to the i mean in reference to the square hole say b c d e f h i j k l these are all reference points taken from the square hole now as we know for the development of the cylinder we have to use parallel line method that is also called stretch out line method so from the base line drop one parallel line another parallel line see that a to a1 a to a1 distance is pi d a to a1 distance is 
పైడి పైడి ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ we have to divide this a a1 into this number of divisions these divisions may not be equal these divisions may not be equal so for that we have to take compass for that we have to take compass and divide it compass and divide it say ab ab as a radius a as a center so that you will get b point then bc distance bc then this becomes d this becomes d automatically cd distance and de distance is same locate e and cd distance is de then what about db distance df df then ab distance is nothing but ab distance is nothing but fg fg similarly similarly next gf is nothing but gh with compass next fe is nothing but hi next similarly we'll get remaining point j k l next la is nothing but la is nothing but g h r g f r a b then from these points drop perpendiculars after that draw projectors from the front view of a square hole six and eight one and five two and four next 3 after drawing projectors then locate the intersection points for example i say for example say 1 where is 1 1 on on the generator passing through b one is a point on generator passing through b now here this one where is one one on b one on b next where is two two on 
C generator. 3 ohm D generator. 4. 4. 4 ohm E generator. 5 on F generator 6 6 very 6 6 6 on H generator next 7 8 like that like that here 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 next coming to this portion where is 5 5 is on h 5 is on h 5 on h next 4 is on 4 on i Next, 3 on J. Next, 3 on J. 2 on K. 1 on L. Similarly, you will get remaining points. 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8. Now, after getting these points, what you have to do is, you have to join freehand curve. After that, join our dark outside lines also. Now, I will revise everything once. First of all, with O as a center, O as a center, draw one circle. After drawing the circle, draw projectors for drawing the front view. After drawing the front view, then locate the midpoint of the axis. Then draw a line parallel to baseline or XY line. After that, draw 45 degrees line and such way that this length should be equal to the length of the square hole length of the side of a square hole then complete the square portion after that take points on the square hole that is say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like that we can take points on uh, square hole i mean some reference points on it from those points we have to draw the projectors from those points you have to draw the projector these are nothing but these projectors are nothing but generator we are assuming these are the generators for the cylinder so for that we had given the letters here for those points we had given the letters here after that after that a as is a as a point to be considered for that what you have to do we have to use uh, for development of this stretch out line method from the bottom base as well as top base draw two stretch out lines then locate a point A, see that A A1 is equal to the pi D, A A1 is equal to pi D, A A1 is equal to pi D. Then we are not going to divide this A A1 into equal number of parts. 
we are going to take distance from uh, as AB as a radius, draw an arc. Then BC as a radius, B as a center, draw an arc. CD as a radius, C as a center, draw an arc. Similarly, rotate. Uh, similarly, similarly, uh, take uh, remaining points also in a same fashion. That is, for example, I say AB radius is equal to FG radius. FG radius is equal to GH radius. GH radius is equal to LA radius. So next, uh, EF value is nothing but HI value. EF value is nothing but HI. Like that, we'll get different points. From these points, drop projectors. From this point, drop projectors or uh, perpendiculars. Drop perpendiculars. After drawing the perpendiculars, draw projectors from the square hole. Draw projectors from the square hole. Draw projectors from the square hole in the front view. After drawing the projectors as well as these uh, perpendiculars from different points on the baseline, you will get intersection point. Those points are to be joined. Those points are to be joined here as well as there. Here as well as there. Here it's a freehand curve. It's a freehand curve because it's a curved object. That's why we have to draw freehand curve. These points are not to be joined with uh, scale not to be joined with scale. Now, this is the development of lateral surface of cylinder with square hole. Thank you.